though Roger Waters did not write Pink Floyd's The Wall as an allegory about any real life structure, the band's 1979 opus subsequently took on such an interpretation. In July 1990, Waters performed the album in Berlin, Germany to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall eight months earlier. Now, he's planning a similar concert in protest of Donald Trump's planned wall separating the southern border between the U.S. and Mexico. Speaking to AFP, Waters explained that the wall is very relevant now with Mr. Trump and all of this talk of building walls and creating as much enmity as possible between races and religions, he noted that the album is about how detrimental building walls can be on a personal level but also on broader levels. Thus, Waters is prepared to stage a performance of the album near where Trump's wall is to be built. There will first need to be an awakening against these far-right policies. The sewers are engorged by greedy and powerful men as I speak to you, Waters added. Music is a legitimate place to express protests. Musicians have an absolute right, a duty to open their mouths to speak out. Waters previously likened Trump's candidacy to the rise of Adolf Hitler in 1930s Germany, calling Trumpism just as dangerous as fascism. At recent concerts, he's mocked America's new president by depicting him as a dildo-loving Nazi with a micropenis. Already, Waters is planning a new solo album which he's described as part magic carpet ride. Part political rant, part anguish. He'll support the release by embarking on an extensive North American tour this summer. He's also open to a reunion of Pink Floyd.